Hi and welcome to my review of the Mr. Hobby Pro Convoy PS266 airbrush. I've been looking for something that I can keep as uh, 0.5 needle size for putting down primers and lacquer coats as another airbrush I've been using originally had a smaller needle and I want to keep it with a smaller needle now and uh, I was looking for an affordable solution to that and I saw this and uh, doing my usual research I couldn't find any YouTube videos um, reviewing this particular airbrush so I thought I'd just put something together and uh, for anybody who's interested in buying one um, it's a sub 100 pounds 0.5 needle double action airbrush I'll just check it out the box here it's a complete box also comes with what you need if anybody out there uses uh, Aeros compressed air cans it comes with the cable and the adapter to run with that um, but no one eighth adapter to uh, put it to a normal compressor fitting. So out the packaging like that. There you go, it's uh, got a large 15 milliliter cup that comes with it. Um, it's got the preset handle, so to lock out how far you can pull your trigger back. It's got a decent fitting cup lid in there. It's all nice and that, it's got nice plating on it. And very much anybody who's used to like eye water, um, airbrushes are very similar construction so an eye water um, so those who are familiar with that you can see it's all in there also it's got the little spanner in the box when you need to change the needle and uh, comes apart there we want to clean adjustment there and then also just so it takes a normal 1 8 adapter so onto there that and, uh, yeah, it's got a really good weight and nice feel to it. Um, so it's sub 100 pound, and the only other thing I own that's sort of in that level is this Iwata Neo, and that's in that sub price bracket, so you get an idea there. Obviously, it's a much larger paint cup size, and it's got the uh, the preset handle as well. But, um, you know, it's the quality's there. I mean, this this is a really good starter airbrush, the Neos, and a great little airbrush for the money. And this is, um, there's an idea for size comparison and price, so yeah, it's great. I'm just put an airline to it, and as you can see from there, it's got a nice feel to it. Yeah, nice positive. You know, I'm not I'm not a very experienced airbrusher, but it's got a nice positive pull to it, and just uh, yeah, nice balance and flow. So what I'd like to do is just show a couple of. Um, samples of it being used for putting down some primer and also a lacquer coat that uh, I must admit I'm not being brave to try before um, and uh, yeah and then to, you know just hopefully it'll help anybody who's interested in purchasing a 0.5 airbrush um, at a good price then uh, hopefully this will help them out. So right now I've got two things I want to test spray with this the uh, PS266. Uh, one's a little 170 seconds bit far I'm working on at the moment um, the underside's all been painted and I've masked it off and now I'm top painting it and going that way is the way I want to run with this and this is a uh, say a little beetle that I use just as a test out with different colours and, and lacquers and other bits and just see how they go on so what I'm going to do is I've got this ultimate primer grey I tend to use a fair bit I've got the white as well using a 0.5 needle at 25 psi I seem to put it on just neat and uh, that works for me yeah, I'm no expert at this, so um, uh, you know if anybody has other ideas, it's up to them. But this is what I'm doing for myself, so uh, it's going to be a bit of noise now, and uh, we'll see how the paint goes on.
So Spitfire's now had a um, paint top coat put onto it. As you can see that's now done, dried off. Um, that's using an AK, this one, RF Dark Green Air, which is really nice paint, sprays through really nice on the paint through uh, 0.35 Eclipse. Uh, what I want to do now is put a layer of this on it. Um, not, I had this about a year and I've not really used it because you need about 45 PSI and quite good ventilation and everything and I've reset up what I'm doing. I feel more confident I can use it in a more safer environment. I'm wearing a mask, uh, which should do anyway, but I have been, and but you won't be able to see that. So um, wearing a mask, having better ventilation now, it's go straight outside through the spray booth and uh, thin this down. I've tried it on a couple of other things. It looks really nice. And so this is initial, as I go through, it's just protect the paint, stop it getting uh, chipping off as I do the other layers. So um, just get this fired up. So I'll now thin this down by about 30%. As you can see in there, it's like around the cup quite nicely. So let's see how this sprays on. So this first coat at 45 PSI with the uh, Creotex. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm loving the results of this stuff so far. It's uh, that's the first one. It's just enough to get paint protection down. And I can start worrying about doing the camouflage colors and then reprotect it and, um, and keep just layering it up from there. Uh, yeah, but so far. So let's get this out of the dust and uh, move on so hopefully them little videos there just go some way demonstrating the capabilities of this airbrush using primers and lacquer coats especially in the case of lacquer coats it's the first time i've ever used that lacquer i bought it about a year ago but now i've got an improved ventilation system i felt more comfortable um trying it out and i thought well it'd be a great opportunity to try it with this airbrush and i must admit both lacquer and airbrush performed brilliantly um i've been well surprised and pleased with this airbrush so far is at a great price, it's over 100 pounds. Feels like a brilliant build quality. Um, easy to clean, easy to use. It's everything I hope for, a price I like. I have other airbrushes as well that I use and um, also got an Eclipse that's not here at the moment. And uh, yeah, it's it's up there with the uh, the more expensive iWatters. And uh, just say I've had the Neo out as well because it's a similar price bracket. But also with the uh, preset handle as well that comes standard with it. You can't argue about it for the price of being sub £100. So hopefully anybody looking to buy this airbrush can feel confident going forward in uh, making a sensible decision and purchase with it.